Hello, I'm Adam Barrowley and welcome to this Crystal Connections video where we're exploring the crystal of Aragonite. Aragonite comes in a variety of colours, but probably the most two common ones are the blue and the one we're going to explore in this video, the orange or the brown. Now what I love about Aragonite is this interesting formation that it grows in. It's referred to as a Sputnik. You can see it's kind of got all these different explosions coming out of its central point. Aragonite is found in various locations around the world. It is named after a location in Spain where it was first found or early on found, Aragon, hence Aragonite. And one place where it's been used for a long, long time is Mexico. There's actually been some old artifacts that have been discovered that were created out of Aragonite. So Aragonite has this really kind of gentle, grounding, earthy and stabilizing energy. And in this video, I'm going to explain some different ways that I would bring in Aragonite to your life when you'd need it, and how you'd actually use it. Aragonite brings real calming, centering, stabilizing energy. So if you're going through a bit of a traumatic or a big epic time in your life and you need a bit of stabilizing, carry some Aragonite with you. Or if you know it's gonna be a big day and you need to be kind of focused and grounded, really, really good. In fact, this is a great crystal for anyone who tends to get easily distracted, maybe jumps on social media and spends too much time there. Um, if you need time, where you need to be focused on one thing or you need to concentrate, Aragonite's really great as well. So maybe you're a student and you end up keep on getting distracted when you should be studying. Aragonite would be great to have on your desk or carry around with you. It also brings patience. Now this can be really good if you're waiting for something to happen and you tend to get a little bit kind of, you know, jumping out of your pants and you can't wait. And also really good for such as things that, like business ventures or even relationships, waiting for someone to call you back as, when you're first dating. But business ventures definitely, you know, sometimes things can be a little bit slow until they take off. And Aragonite helps us again to ground ourselves and center, us, center ourselves and go, okay, patience it's working just stay focused keep doing what i need to do and eventually you'll start to see the fruits of your labor so if you are one of these people that gets ants in your pants and gets really excited and gets distracted easily aragonite's going to be a really nice one to help bring you that patience bring you that grounding and help you focus on what's important Work with Aragonite to bring harmony into your life. It's going to be a great one to grid around the home to bring harmony to the family. If there's been a bit of tension, a bit of friction between two children, you and your partner, then having this crystal around will help to ground and stabilize again. It's also a really good one at work, especially in meeting rooms or where there is any type of negotiation. Aragonite promotes reason, listening, cooperation, and all those types of things to make sure that a group works together to a common benefit of everyone concerned. This is also a really nice crystal. It's a gentle crystal and can be really great for kids. Now, if you've got a child who tends to be a bit clingy and you're trying to get them to be a bit more independent, Aragonite can really help them with that. On the other hand, if you get those children that, remember I was talking about patience before, those overzealous children that jump into everything and need to learn how to wait their turn, this can be really great in that way as well. If you're working with animals, especially if you're training them, this can be a really great crystal to have nearby. It'll help to keep you calm, and it will also help to keep that kind of energy of calmness with the animals as well. Really great, especially if you're working with horses, I find, and especially if you're training a horse. Great in that way. Now, are you a healer or a reader? If so, grab a piece of aragonite, and before you start your session, just hold it for a couple of moments and take some deep breaths in. It'll allow you to ground in the centre and also let go of any outside influences. Maybe you were running late getting to this session or maybe a session ran over or something like that. Aragonite will drop all that out and help you focus on this new session and be able to do your job effectively. Finally, this is a really great crystal for helping you to find harmony within your own body. It works really well with the nervous system. Now, you might be someone like me that tries to jam too much into a day and ends up getting overwhelmed or taking too much on. If that's the case, then Aragonite's a really good one to help you to manage things, to make sure that you can multitask and do that effectively when you need to, but also that important skill of delegation, of knowing what doesn't need to be done to you or what doesn't need to be done today and delegate that to a different time or to a different person. Aragonite will give you the confidence and the ability to know when and how to do that. 
Because of the stabilizing energy of aragonite, you're gonna find that it's really gonna help you to tackle different challenges that are coming up in your life. It's gonna help you to stop, pause, and take in different perspectives. Sometimes if you're a bit of a bull in a china shop and tend to rush through things, you kind of be very focused on one solution. Aragonite, with its Sputniks going out in different directions, will go, hey, let's look at this different perception and this different option, and let's bring them all together and work out how to do that. Working with aragonite over an extended period of time will actually help you to be a really well-rounded person. If you're someone who tends to focus a lot on spirituality or your job to the detriment of other aspects of your life, this can be really great. You know, sometimes we will allow our money to dominate us or our family problems to dominate us or different things like that. To get that nice roundedness, aragonite will help you to manage all those different things, delegate what needs to be done and give attention to what needs attention. This is also a really good one if you're starting to get a bit frustrated and feeling a bit stagnant in your own personal growth. Aragonite will help you to find new options, new different ventures to explore, new kind of subjects to delve into, to grow and um, become that more well-rounded person. It's also really good at helping to cut different attachments to the past and even helping you go back into childhood and looking at the root cause of possibly reasons that you suffer from angst or anxiety these days or even maybe some kind of thing that happened in your childhood that is now manifesting as a physical issue in your health. Um, often things that are lingered and not dealt with when we we're younger can manifest later in our lives. Aragonite and meditation with aragonite can help to bring realizations of, oh, hold on. Actually, I never really looked at that and how I, you know, I didn't have any friends in childhood. I didn't have a father or, you know, we moved around a lot. How is that manifesting for me today? How has that made an impact on me? Aragonite can help you to bring that up. So sitting with it, meditating with it, and just, you know, kind of asking those questions can be a really nice way of unlocking some really interesting stuff that will allow you to grow. Not only can aragonite be used to help ground and center us, but it's really good for earth healing as well. Now, the first aspect I love about the earth healing and aragonite is it really helps to bring an awareness and reminder that the earth is a living organism. It has certain requirements. It needs that fresh water, needs that fresh air, just like we do as well, and to really respect that. In fact, aragonite can help consideration of the earth's resources. And so in any meditation you're doing or any grid work or any work which is around that conservation of resources, aragonite can be really good. Aragonite is also, because of its stabilizing nature, can be really good for helping to stabilize parts of the planet or maybe an environment that's been through a big upheaval. Maybe there's been earthquakes. Maybe there has been kind of um, some mining or something that has really kind of shaken that part of the earth. If that's the case, either gridding and burying pieces of aragonite around that area can help, or if you want to send that energy elsewhere in the world, find a map, put some aragonite on it, and visualize that stabilizing energy going there as well. You can also team aragonite with different crystals. You know, if there has been any earthquakes and you want to kind of stabilize the earth again, aragonite combined with either lapidolite or mica can be really good. If you really want to bring a potent um, kind of energy and you really need to bring an environment like an ecosystem back to balance and harmony especially after mining's been or been logging or something and you're trying to reforest an area that's where you want to bring in Herkimer and diamond so Herkimer and diamond and aragonite together stabilizing and rebalancing can be really powerful one final aspect of the environment that aragonite can really help you with is if you have a fear of water again this kind of brings in living in harmony with the earth and the planet and the water and also dealing with anything that might have that fear might have come from something that happened in childhood working with aragonite can really help you in that way either the orange or the blue can be helpful in that way as well either one so when you want to kind of really find that harmony with the earth and become you know help the earth find its harmony again reach for your aragonite When it comes to working with aragonite, after you've been using it for something really epic or you're about to use it for a big thing, or you just need a bit more grounding and you want to kind of rebalance it, you definitely want to cleanse this crystal. Now, when it comes to different crystals, they each have different energies. So you want to use different gifts of nature to cleanse each one. When it comes to aragonite, use the element of earth. Leaving it on the earth, you probably don't want to bury it when it's in this raw Sputnik firm, but just on the raw earth overnight can be a really nice way of helping it to regain its balance and help you and the earth to regain its balance again when it's in its kind of unique, balanced, optimum state. 
Now you can also bring in other gifts of nature. I love working with essential oils. And one that I love when I'm working with aragonite is clementine. Now both aragonite and clementine work with the sacral chakra. They can really help us to live in the moment and get the most out of the relationships that we're in. You know, often when we're with uh, our family members or our loved ones and that, we're distracted by our phones or something else. Aragonite brings us into that moment and so does clementine. They also help to bring balance, harmony and a little bit more joy back to relationships as well. So diffuse clementine or anoint yourself in it or if you're doing any sacral chakra healing, you know, a bit of aragonite and anoint a bit of clementine essential oil on there can be really great, especially if you're going back and doing any like inner child healing. Really, really powerful for that combination. Now the animal guide that comes to me when I'm working with aragonite is an Australian marsupial known as the numbat. Now, if you're not in Australia, you might have to Google what a numbat looks like, but these beautiful little animals that live and, and have a very intimate knowledge of the earth. Being a marsupial and also being, um, you know, they have to be very aware of what's happening around them all the time. So they have this really strong earth awareness. Just like a Reganite allows us to be aware of all the different things happening around us and all the different options and to be connected with the earth, so is numbat. So close your eyes, maybe smell a bit of clementine essential oil, hold your Reganite and imagine a numbat coming and talking to you. Now, I'm back could give you some wisdom, what would it be? When it comes to um, planetary, this would definitely be associated with either Ceres, the asteroid, or Venus because of that Earth connection. And so Friday would be the power day, the best day to work with Aragonite. Now, have you worked with Aragonite? I know I had a few requests for people asking me to do a video on Aragonite, so I'd love to hear about your experience with it. Please share that in the comment section below. Feel free, while you're lingering down in the comment section, hit that little bell and also that like button because that helps me to get this um, these videos out to other people and help them to work with these magical gifts of Mother Nature. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrelay. Blessed be.